Hi there, it's Oli here, and I'm gonna do a project pan for the first time ever. So let's jump into it. So for those of you who don't know what a project pan is, I'm just gonna take the basics. It's a goal you set up for yourself with an X amount of projects that you will use up within a year. I thought I would do this project pan because I have a sort of theme to my goal that I wanted to do anyway. But then I realized, oh, people are doing this on YouTube. I could make a video of that. And the theme of this project pan is makeup that has been tested on animals. So if you watched uh, one of my earlier videos, uh, I can link it in the description down below. I talk about different brands that test on animals and I do not support that. I don't want to buy anything that's not cruelty free which I've talked about in that video, so go and check that one out. But, since I have been a naive little person, I have makeup that I tested on animals. And I did not buy it with the intention of like, well, I don't care, I'm just gonna have this makeup because I want makeup. I seriously didn't know. I thought they were cruelty free, but I didn't check it. And now I'm checking it. I do not want to own any products that are tested on animals, but I'm not either a person that just want to throw everything away and waste the product I already bought my money with. As sadly as it is, the harm is already done. These products have been tested on animals. I did buy them. I did contribute to this uh, brand that I don't support. It's already done. It's Nothing I can do about it. What I can do about it is to use up the products I have and not buy anything more. So, all that's left now is sorting out my makeup in cruelty free and not cruelty free. And yeah, let's just jump into it, shall we? See you in a bit. So as you can see, the majority of my products are cruelty free, but I still have quite a lot of products that aren't cruelty free. And I decided to sort of sort it in the brands that I buy. And it's not a shock to me that the brand I buy the most with makeup of in this category is Maybelline. So let's just start with this. First up to the ring is Master Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. Next up is Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 104. Next up is Master Sculpt, the medium one? I think this is the medium one. It doesn't say, but this is it. Next we have Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. And this is what that looks like. Then we have a single eyeshadow in... Doesn't have a name. <laughs> but it's a Maybelline Single Eyeshadow Color Sensational in black. Then we have a lip product. I 
barely can read the label because the uh, color is so dark. But I see Vivid Hot Tattoo in color... Yeah, Slate 82. Well, that's that. Then I have my favorite products of Maybelline, which is mascaras. We have Last Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. Oh, I will miss you. And then we also have Last Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara in Waterproof. And the last mascara by Maybelline is the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. And next up is MAC. First off, the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Then we also have the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. Then we have a little travel size of the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And a lip pencil in Night Mouth from MAC. After MAC we have some L'Oreal products and I have this Bonjour Nudista uh, Awakening Skin Tint in Clair Light. Then we have uh, the all-time favorite on YouTube, not my favorite however, it's the Paradise Extract Mascara. It's been talked about a lot, on, especially on YouTube, everyone is raving about this. I was not impressed. Next up we have a lip liner from L'Oreal. Uh, it's the Infallible Longwear Lip Liner. It does not have a name but I think this just was the name of nude. It is just a nude lip liner. And last up we have an eyeliner by L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Stilo Liner 24 in waterproof. Does not either have a name. But it's like this really metallic blue sort of color. And then we have some makeup from Clinique. I don't usually buy makeup from Clinique. This was uh, sort of a present from a friend. And this is a lipstick in the color Plump Up. And then we have a mascara. It's the Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. Just the travel sized one. And the last product of all of the product is a eyeliner as well from Sephora. It's just a black eyeliner, nothing special. Okay, so that's all the products that I will try to use up in 2019. I will use up as much as I can and if there is something left at the end of the year, it will go in the trash bin. Some of you know me from Instagram, from me doing bullet journaling, and I actually have a page dedicated to this project. And uh, this is what it looks like. I will have a close up for it too. Uh, so it just says brand, product, start, halfway, and finish. So I thought we would um, sort of measure some of the products in some sort of way. And I will fill it up in my bullet journal. So yeah, let's jump into that. Okay, here we are. We have all the makeup. We have my bullet journal. We, let's see, have something to weigh everything on. There we go. And I also will take this one for like the pens and stuff. And let's jump right into it, shall we?
that's everything for this video. I hope that I will get through this project. Um, I don't see why. Until next time, bye.